Why stay standing? Our sons of all these will lead us into worship. <laughs> You worship the glorious God, our maker, our creator, our savior, our redeemer, our healer, our deliverer, our provider, our shield, our glory, and the litter up of our head. Can you allow him hear your voice this morning for counting you among the living? Let to the enemy they will have killed you, but God was here defending and fighting your battle. Can you bless the name of the Lord? Can you appreciate the Almighty God? Can you give it to Him this morning for sparing your life? Man, super la brede kasunta limama, zale kasunta brande kasanta limama. 
Zile matu gashenta ni mama. Hey, worship our defender. <laughs> worship our shield. Worship our fortress. Worship our strong tower. Worship the great promoter. The great promoter. For somebody's promotion is now. <laughs> worship him. Worship him. Acknowledge him as the promoter. Karima tagazandala. Re kato gabashe tali baba kasantali. Brumaske te kasuntali mama kasantali. In Jesus mighty name we have worship i thought somebody would say a louder amen. amen beloved i want you to pray some prayer this morning and my prayer is that god will answer you amen. i have discovered over time that nothing good come easy if something good could come easy by now many of us will have been greater than the level we are now our sister that led in the opening prayer quoted Jeremiah 29 11 he said I know the thought that I think it towards you thought of peace and not of evil that will give you expected God's thought concerning you is not stagnation God's thought concerning you is not backwardness God thought concerning you is not retrogression. God thought concerning you is progressive movement. And thank God for the life of the choir this morning. He said, You are moving forward. Yeah. Only one person said, Amen. Yeah. Believe you me, before the end of this month, you will not remain where you used to be. Yeah. And that's why I want you to fire this prayer arrows with all your strength and with holy anger. Say, Father! Yeah. And do better. Say, Father! Every forces of my father's house that will not allow me move forward, that will not allow me go higher. What are you waiting for? Be destroyed by fire. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Any forces of your father's house that will not allow you go forward, <laughs> that will not allow you go higher. My report about Satan Dalabo. Zegede Kazunta Brada. Is somebody praying this morning? Is somebody praying this morning? Your promotion will not pass you by. <laughs> this month will not pass you by. Kakaba Shepale Mama. Rekete Gagagaga. Broma Santa Le Braca Santa Lea. Poto Pashinta Le Baba. Ke de Bronda Gazanta Lea. In Jesus. Most wonderful name we have prayed. Lift up your voice like that. Say, Father. Every monetary power monitoring my progress so as to cause setback to me. Oh, thou Lord of hosts, Ara, Ara, turn thy against them. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Every monetary power. Hey, Calibra Casatalia. Monitoring your progress. <laughs> so as to set setback. <laughs> Brother, you better pray. <laughs> you better pray this morning. Masuta Balabo Santalia. Rokoto Gazakalabo Santé. Keke Kaka Balepa Santalia. Roma Mama Mama Mama. Baba. Kaka Ba Santaliana. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. There are some of us, they have dog pits. Say it doesn't matter how high you go, you are coming back there. I decree this morning. Anyone that has dog pit for you, that doesn't matter how high you climb up, they will still bring you down. Lift up your voice and say, Father, say, Father, anyone that has dug any pit for me, that no matter how high I climb up, they will still bring me back. Oh God, my Father, Ara, deliver me from their hand. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Pari Papa la Mashentalia. Is somebody praying this morning? Zazalabos kateli Baba. She pale kasuta le braga santalia. Ke le brada kasantali. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. They want to pray one prayer point for fathers. Listen to me, sir. There are plenty attack against fathers. Because the enemy know when it is well with the father, it is well with the wife. The enemy know when it is well with the father, it is well with the children. 
And so when there is an attack against father, there is an attack against entire family. I pray, any father under any evil attacker, this money the Lord will deliver you. Listen to me, Salim, to me, man. Fathers have responsibility. And if those responsibility are not met, they are disgrace. Their heads are bowed. Here today, God will lift up the head of every father. Lift up your voice louder, glass. Say, Father. Say, Father. Every attack against any father in the house. Ara, deliver them now and bless every father. Bless every father. Lift up the head of all the fathers. Masuka Yalabo Shantalia. Bare Gede Gaga 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 Gaga. Bare Basantaliana. The fathers are the priests. The fathers are the king. The fathers are the prophet of the home. Kari Basantali Baba. They will not fail in their responsibility. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Every father in the house, can you lift up your two hands? Mighty and everlasting Father, I want to thank you for the life of all the fathers in the house. Gracious Lord, every attack against them, Lord, deliver them today in the name of Jesus. Right here on your altar, I decree upon the life of every father in the house, your head shall be lifted up. Any father going through challenges, financial challenges, business challenges, career challenges, let God intervene in the name of Jesus. Uh, any father that the marriage or the family as at the verge of collapse, I decree, let God rescue you today in the name of Jesus. Let God command his blessings upon you. As a father, financially you shall be blessed. Materially you shall be blessed. Spiritually you shall be blessed. In your business you shall be blessed. In your career you shall be blessed. Your wife shall be blessed. Your children shall be blessed. You will not fail as a father. You will not lack as a father. For whatever for you. Going higher for you. In the name of Jesus. And I decree over the life of everyone here this morning forces of your father's house that will not allow you move forward and go higher let God destroy by fire in the name of Jesus any monetary power monitoring your progress let God blind them by fire in the name of Jesus anyone that have dug any pit for you to cause setback so that you come down to the pit, no matter how high you climb, I decree let God deliver you today in the name of Jesus they shall be buried in their own pit and at the word of God come for today let the word of God catapult you to your desired glory thank you mighty father blessed be the name in highest for we pray in Jesus name I thought the blood God would say it louder. Amen. Jam your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And lastly, be seated as King and Queens in His house. As we open our Bible to Genesis 41, verse 38 to 39 to 49. While we are doing that, I want to remind us that good morning, Holy Spirit, continue tomorrow morning. And if Jesus tarry uh, in his coming, we're looking at the topic anointing to overcome limitations and embargoes. Anointing to do what? Overcome limitations and embargoes. Whatever limitations and embargoes are, we'll get to know. And how it, you'll be able to overcome by the anointing tomorrow morning, uh, you'll be able to also know. So we encourage you while coming, come with your own uh, anointing oil and so that it is blessed and then you can also anoint yourself and the Lord bless you in Jesus name I read from verse 38 Genesis 41 and Pharaoh said unto his servant can we find such a one as this is a man in whom the spirit of God is and Pharaoh said unto Joseph for as much as God has showed thee all this 
There is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Verse 40. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vesture of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck and he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had and they cried before him bowed their knee and he, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt verse 44 and Pharaoh said unto Joseph I am Pharaoh and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt and Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnath Paner and he gave him a wife Asenath the daughter of Potiphar priest of On and Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt and Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh the king of Egypt and Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt and in the seven plenteous years, the earth brought forth by handfuls, and he gathered up all the food of the seven years, which were in the land of Egypt, and laid up the food in the cities. The food of the field, which was run about every city, lay he up in the same. And Joseph gathered come as the sand of the sea, very much until he let numbering for it was without number may the lord bless his reading this morning in jesus name Amen. beloved we are talking about the great promoter and i'm still talking about him this morning so the topic is still the great promoter beloved one thing we need to know about promotion we have defined promotion for as many of us that have been around since the beginning of the month, but for the purpose of emphasis, when you are talking about promotion, you are talking about being raised up, you are talking about a higher position, you are talking about a higher ranking, praise the Lord. And so when you are talking about promotion, you are talking about a change of level. And the Bible made us to know in Psalm 75, that our God is promoter because he says in verse 6 of Psalm 75, he says, For promotion coming neither from the east, nor from west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red, it is full of mixture. So it is God that is promoter. It is possible God may use one or Two people as a vessel to lead you, but they are not your promoter. Take note. It is possible for God to have used one or two people to have bring about your promotion, but they are not your promoter because your life is not in the hand of any man. Nobody is listening to me. I say your life is not what? It's not in the hand of anyone. So if some if God have used someone somewhere to bring you up, that doesn't mean that fellow is your promoter. The promoter himself is the Lord God Almighty. Is who? And why is it that God promotes? God promotes because of our destiny. Because of what? Our destiny. There is no man on earth that God does not have plans for. And whatever plan God has for you, it will take a gradual process for you to get there. For instance, the story we read concerning Joseph a while ago, the promotion Joseph got enabled God's promises over his life to come to pass. Don't forget that at a tender age in Genesis 37, verse 5 to 11, God had granted Joseph a dream. He saw a dream where he was so lifted 
and his brethren were bowing before him. Praise the Lord. But situations and circumstances that later surround him did not point to the possibility of that coming to pass. But because our God does not fail, because our God is faithful, whatever he says, whatever he proposes, whatever he plans to do, nobody can stop him. And so, for God to bring his promises to pass, he has to bring about promotion. For instance, in Deuteronomy 28, verse 12 to 13, the Bible says, the Lord shall, I don't know who this fellow is, but this scripture is for somebody, and I believe it's for me. He said, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. He said, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the head, and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. So, ma, these are the promises of God for His children. But for these promises to be actualized, there must be promotion. And that's why I am decree concerning somebody here today that in that name that's above every other name, whatever God has promised you shall come to pass. The process of bringing to pass what God has promised is what we call promotion. And that is why promotion is not an event. Hello? Promotion is a process. Is somebody with me, sir? The day your promotion call is not the day you are promoted. Somehow, somehow, unknown to you, or deliberately, you must have been working towards your promotion. And that is why there are certain things that you must do for your promotion to call. There are what? Listen to me, you cannot neglect it, you cannot ignore it, you cannot pretend about it. And that's why knowledge is power. Because when you know what you need to do so that your promotion is not delayed, so that your promotion can come, then as a wise man, as a wise woman, you go ahead and do it. We saw here that the promotion of Joseph came in such a way that is so amazing. God using a stranger to lead Joseph to the level of the fulfillment of his dream. Can I pray for somebody? Whoever God want to use all over planet head for your head to be lifted in life, such a person will connect you. Amen. Beloved, it doesn't matter where you are right now. There is still a better place ahead. Oh my God. You didn't hear me, sir. I say it doesn't matter where you are now. There is still a better place ahead. That's why promotion can be a continuous promotion. And I decree concerning somebody, sir, that on the account of this month, your promotion shall be a continuous promotion. Till God called you home, you will never stop being promoted. Sir, unless your promotion become a continuous promotion, you can never move from glory to glory. It is when your promotion is a continual promotion that you are moving from one level of glory to another. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that is above every other name, you will never know backward trend. My God, the God that I serve, will lead you from glory to glory. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. So, Joseph went through process. Joseph did what? He went through process. Before his promotion came, what are the process that he went through? I'll just mention a few. We continue in the second service and we round up in the third service. I am praying for you. Today will be an unforgettable day in your life. For you to experience the promotion that comes from the great promoter, the first thing is your absolute trust in him. What do I call it? I can't hear you, sir. Eh? 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 Absolute trust. I say you trust in the Lord for your better tomorrow, sir, it may not come. 
That's why it says, Say it to the righteous. Thy shall what? That alone is enough for you to trust God. That your tomorrow will be all right. Can I pray for only one person? It doesn't matter what is happening around you. Your tomorrow will be all right. Your tomorrow will be better than today. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. It was because Joseph trusted in the law that he said, no, I will not be a chief servant. I will not be what? A chief servant. Do you know why? The wife of his master in Genesis 39, 7 to 9 wanted to offer him a promotion of chief servant. Of what? Do you know the implication? He said, come and lie with me. Lie with me or God will not know. Praise the Lord. If he had complied, if he had fallen into that temptation, what would he be? He would just be the head of all the servants in the house and perhaps would be eating extra meat more than his master. Hello? Hello? Because the wife would give the master maybe two meat and because... Uh, Joseph is the real lover. Uh, when the master step out, he will eat three meats. Hello? Is that the, is it promotion of meat you want? <laughs> Hello? I'm asking somebody. Is it promotion of meat you want? <laughs> and that is why I am praying for you. God will not permit the enemy to swallow your glory. That woman wanted to swallow the glory of this young woman. Can I pray for you? Check those of you that are at the vigil. When we're talking about the, the, the horns, the horns of the wicked, the, the biggest horn is the woman that the Bible calls a harlot of Babylon that is full of abominables. Revelation chapter 17. When the enemy is pushing you into sin, sir, ma, they want to ruin your life. Because the moment you fall into sin, you will no longer trust God. But because Joseph trusts God and Joseph knew what God promised him was never a chief servant or meat promotion, he said, no, woman, I will not do it. When they offer you bribe, they give you things so as, sir, don't allow anybody to deceive you. Your promotion is in the hand of God. That's why if you read Daniel chapter 3, verse 28 to 30, when Nebuchadnezzar was promoting the three Hebrew children, children Meshach and Abednego, he testified that they trusted in the law. That they did what? Huh? That they did what? They trusted in the law. He said, then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servant that trusted in him and have changed the king's war and yielded their body that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. By the time you get to verse 30, he said, Then the king did what? Promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of. Babylon. Their promotion came because they trusted in the law. Brethren, if you are expecting promotion, you must increase your trust in God. Because he's the only one that can bring it about. I am praying for you that your trust in the law will multiply. That's why the Bible says, they that trust in the law, he said they shall not be moved. He said they will be like Mount Zion. Sir, ma, your promotion is coming. Oh, only one person said amen. Sir, no Jupiter can stop your promotion. The only person that can stop your promotion is you. Is who? You. You. Because there's certain things that you will do that may make God to change his mind concerning you. If you don't believe me, go and ask Eli. Eli was supposed to be promoted. The promotion of Eli was supposed to be a transgenerational promotion. What do I call it? 
transgenerational promotion a promotion that transcends his generation to the generation of his children to the generation of his children children that was the kind of promotion God had prepared for Eli but because Eli and his sons refused to trust in God and to obey God they lost it can I pray for you sir who is that fellow this morning I just want only one person and I've seen the one person the one person is who I stand here today and I decree your promotion shall be transgenerational promotion. Your promotion will transcend your own generation. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Be seated for a while. What can I do for my promotion to come? Number two, faithfulness. What do I call it? Faithfulness. And my time is all. Faithfulness come with commitment and dedication in every assignment you are giving and every expectation of God concerning you. Many of us are not faithful. We are not faithful in our tithing. We are not faithful in giving. We are not faithful in serving God. Sir, ma, there is no shortcut to promotion. If you are looking for a shortcut to promotion, you will go up. And the same way you go up, you will come down. But when you pay the price for promotion, you grow up. You do what? There is a difference between going up and what? Growing up. It is better for you to grow up than to go up. When you go up, the same speed is what you will take to come down. I am praying for you. God will make you faithful. The Bible says in Luke chapter 16 verse 11 to 20. He said, If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit your who will commit to your throne the true riches? And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give the, who, who shall give you that which is your own? And that is where many of us are missing it. And I want to really talk to some of us here that are working on that people I beg you in the name of God Almighty your promotion is not when you become a general manager in that place your promotion is not when you take over from your MD your promotion can be a situation whereby you become owner of your own business where God take you from an employee to what? an employer but you know what? if you do the one of the one that you are serving anyhow you may never get there you may never get there. If you think you are working under somebody, you can do the work of that fellow anyhow. Sir, ma, you are digging your grave. You are doing what? Sir, promotion will never come. When men commit work into your hand, sir, it is expected of you to be faithful. What God reward is what? Faithfulness. Ask yourself, in your workplace, are you faithful? Your workplace is 8 to 4 o'clock. You resume 10 o'clock. Is that faithfulness? You close by 3 o'clock. You don't give the, the work that you are being paid for. is 8 hours work. You render only 5 hours and you collect the money. You are committing, you are, you are bringing costs upon your life. Caught me. Do you know what? Joseph was faithful when he was in his master's house. He was faithful when he was in the prison. By the time he came to the, to the palace of Pharaoh, there was no shortcoming in his life. Why? He had trained himself to be faithful. Listen to me. Some of all look at us when we are up and doing. Sir, ma, is a price that must be paid. God does not reward indolency. God does not reward laziness. God rewards faithfulness, commitment, and dedication. How dedicated are you? You are stealing where you are working, and you say you are faithful, you are a liar. Do you know what? The Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mock. Whatsoever a man soweth, he will do what? 
And do you know what? I've always told us, and either you believe it or not, observers are worried. They are what? They are worried. They are not just watching. They are equally worried. They are looking at everything you are doing. And when promotion will come, sir, I have told you the story before. One of my guys in the office, they, they call him, I fear big man. Do you remember the story? I remember. I fear what? The day he told me, Sunday, fear big man. I said, no way. He said, I will never fear any man. I can only respect man. The only person I am to fear is God. He said, you don't know anything. He said, do you know why I ask you to fear big man? He said, where big man will discuss your matter, you will not be there. He said, when big man lie on your head, you will not be there to defend yourself. You will not even know that he has lied on your head. And so when recommendation will be made for you to be promoted, if the big man is there, whatever he say is what they will believe. You, you will not be there. He said, fear big man. Can I pray for only one person? God will be your voice. Where your voice will not be heard. Listen to me. Promotion comes in ways of opportunities. In the ways of what? When opportunity is coming your way, somebody will take decision somewhere. And when they are taking that decision, they want to have a retrospective view of things you have done. Who you are. What are your antecedents? Who do they know you to be? Are you consistent? Are you faithful? Many of us have missed promotions. I decided by the help of the Holy Spirit to share what I'm sharing this morning. Why? It is not just enough to pray. If you like, pray for nothing tomorrow. If there are certain things you are not doing, listen to me. Life is governed by principles. You cannot bypass the principle and get the expected results. But if you understand the principles, you become unstoppable. There is somebody here, sir. Hear me as I hear God. You will be unstoppable. Listen to me. When you look at the story of the, of the, of the noble man in the book of Luke chapter 19, verse 12 to 25, that he gave five talents, two talents, and one talent. What disqualified the man with one talent was his unfaithfulness. What disqualified him was what? But the other two were faithful. They doubled their talent. And who got promotion? Those that double their talent. Sir, what God has given to you, what are you doing with it? If you like mama, if you like complain, if you like say all manners of things, sir, man, you are the one doing yourself. I see the glory of the Lord descending in this place to pass us one more time. I see I know my time is up but I must give you this one before I go. Sir, ma for your promotion to come you must pass the test. You must do all. Can I ask you, sir? Can I ask you, man? Did Joseph pass test or not? Eh? The test you pass for your promotion, it is not test of knowledge. It's not what? Eh? Eh? But rather, a proof that you are ready for bigger responsibility. Didn't hear me. Huh? When you pass through a test, the test is not what test of knowledge, but a proof that you are what you are ready for what bigger responsibility. Hello. <laughs> Something happened last week. I received a call in my office from a business owner reporting somebody to me in worry. And this fellow had just been recommended for an international job. An international job that will earn him 
why in Nigeria any in pounds? And so when I received the call, just involuntarily, I just voice out that I'm having a reservation concerning this person. That will he not embarrass Nigeria because of the sensitivity of his job? Thank God for mercy. Instantly, somebody in that meeting said, let us write and cancel the appointment. I have to start begging. Say, no, let us not do that. Let's call him and talk to him. But listen to me. When you fail test, little, little test, God will push it to you. And the moment you fail it, sir, ma, the one that fail a class, what does he do? What is the meaning of repetition? Stagnation. Stand on your feet. You will not repeat class. I say you will not repeat class. Jesus passed the test. Jesus did what? That was why I was given a name that is above every other name. Time will not permit me to go into it. Maybe in the second service we will we, we'll do justice to it. But one thing I know is that your promotion, you have a role to play. And you know what? Promotion is very sweet. When it comes, it comes with divine decoration. Is somebody here, heaven will decorate you. It comes with greatness. That's why we are talking about it. It comes with honor. When promotion comes, it makes you relevant. When promotion comes, your past is forgotten. There is somebody here. God will cause you to forget your past. All heads bow down. That's the reason why you need to know the promoter. That's the reason why you need to come to the promoter. That's the reason why you need his help. Are you not tired of your situation? Are you not tired of your condition? Have you not been failing all the tests that God has been bringing before you unknown to you? But today, you can say, Lord, I want restoration. Lord, I want to surrender. All heads bow down, all eyes closed. If you are here this morning, and the word of God is coming, you know you are the one that God is talking to. Because he wants you promoted, because he has plans for you, and you don't want to miss it. Can you lift up your right hand and I pray with you? God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. If you are raising that hand, just raise it above your head, and I pray with you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. Any other person? Any other person? God bless you, my sister. If you are raising the hand, raise it above your head. Raise it above your head. Raise it above your head. Any other person out there? Can you just come or shout direct them? Let them meet me here at the other. Please sir, come. Please, my brother up there. Please come. Another person. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. There's always a day. There's always a day. There's always a day. Today is your own day of promotion. It begins with your knowledge of him, the great promoter himself. And he will pick you off from the pit and he takes you to the height that is unimaginable. Can we all please, if you are sure of your salvation, step forth your hand to our brothers and sisters standing at the altar and pray for them that the Lord will have mercy on them and the Lord will save their soul and restore them as sons of God as they are done for us. Go ahead and pray for them. Step forth your hand, pray for them, pray for them that God Almighty will remember them unto promotion today. Thank you, my dear Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name we are praying precious father I just want to thank you for this your children oh God that you have taught their life all I ask for today is that Lord you save their soul redeem them from destruction and as from today let them become your sons in the name of Jesus and all the agenda of the wicked concerning them let them be destroyed and Lord please oh God lift them up that they lift up their head thank you my dear father for we pray in Jesus' name. I tell you, congratulations. Kindly follow that, my sister. Carry that board canceling. Let's put our hand together for Jesus. That, my sister, follow her one minute. Then you come back to your seat. Put those hands together. Put those hands together. Now, you lift up your two hands and pray only one prayer point for yourself. And say, Father. You can do better, sir. Say, Father. Say, Father. Let me not be my own enemy. Help 
me to pay the price for my promotion. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Masuka le branda ka santalia. Lord, I will not be my own enemy. Kariba <laughs> santalia. These principles are applicable in the secular. They are applicable spiritually. They are applicable in your career. They are applicable in business. Masupa nda bole machine talia. Rekete kazunta bale mama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you today that the Lord will not allow you to be your own enemy. The God that pray for Peter will pray for you today in the name of Jesus. And you will not miss your promotion. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Put those hands together for Jesus. <laughs>